I'm Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing with you my top 10 plus one uh, summer fragrances. Now these are the ones that just bring me absolute joy during the summer. Uh, I've got some citrus, fruity, sunscreen, tropical, kind of a mixture of all of them so that there's something for everybody. But not only that, um, I find that I like to have a mix. So I've got kind of two options for each category for you. Uh, kind of, um, so that if you're wanting like, you know, let's say one citrus, one fruity, one sunscreen, one tropic, I've got you covered. <laughs> so at least hopefully I do. So without further ado, actually a little bit more ado, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird and wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the community. And other than that, I just feel like I've got my dad saw this morning or afternoon or whatever it happens to be. So uh, let's get started. So I'm gonna start with uh, one of my lighter ones. I'm gonna start with the citrus ones. Now the original of this one, I will never purchase and it's Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Intense uh, or Light Blue. I'm not a fan of that one. Uh, lots of people love it though. It's basically a cult favorite. So I thought I would mention the version that I have, which is Light Blue Love is Love. Now, uh, the original Light Blue, it's definitely citrus, but it's too citrus for me, and somehow it just doesn't sit nice on my skin. So um, it's really quite fresh. Now, I've smelt it, uh, like on my friend Lori, she, it's kind of like one of her signatures. Every time she's worn it, like now I know the scent, but I'd go, oh, what are you wearing? And I always loved it on her, but I didn't love it on myself. Love is Love, however, which is one of the flankers. I absolutely love this one. So this still has the bright lemon. Uh, so, you know, that bright citrus kind of a crisp lemon. Uh, but then on top of it, you're getting raspberry and there's ice cream note in this one. Uh, so this one, like again, it's super light. Uh, and like with citruses, uh, citruses don't tend to last long on the skin. This one is no exception. Um, I think light blue has pretty poor performance in general. This one is pretty, like it's pretty bad. Like you get about three hours uh, before it becomes a skin scent, but I don't mind just kind of like uh, almost using this like a body spray and just like really going to town on it. Like a pretty, a pretty good dint in it so far. Um, and this one is just so light and refreshing, citrusy, but it's paired with that raspberry, which gives me a hint of sweetness. Uh, and with that ice cream, to me, this one reminds me of a raspberry lemon sorbet. So um, I just, I really like this one. It's energizing, it's happy, uh, but it's not gonna be overpowering. So if you live in extreme heat, this is a great option because it's just not gonna choke you out. <laughs> so anyway, give this one a try. If you don't like the original light blue, it's still worth checking out the flankers. Like I kind of want to get the sun version uh, of this one as well. There's a new one out uh, for this year that I think has more florals in it. Uh, but yeah, this one, Love is Love, I really love that raspberry in it. It's great. The next citrus that I have for you is Trissardi's Donna. Now this one is definitely, you know, whereas this is an Eau de Toilette, uh, this one is an Eau de Parfum and you definitely notice this is more uh, heavy, more substantial. Um, this one is like a light airy citrus. This has some depth, uh, some depth to it. Oof, I just love this one. This one in the opening has fruity notes, yuzu and lemon. So it kind of, I think the fruity notes kind of, like you don't notice any fruitiness, it's just mainly that lemon, but the lemon smells sweet. So whereas this one smells crisp, this one smells like warm and sweet, like you're, uh, you know, you've just plucked a lemon off a tree and it's super juicy and you uh, put it in the water and you have a hint of sweetness. That's this one. As this one dries down, it goes to Jasmine, African Orange Flower and Lotus. Now, I don't really notice any particular uh, floral note. No, maybe I smell the orange blossom a little bit more, but overall I just get a very light floral. Uh, definitely is a, um, a, it's definitely more of a supporting note though. Um, you definitely keep getting that lemon. Uh, so the florals, I think, just help round it out a little bit. And then in the dry down, you get patchouli, vanilla, sandalwood, and cedar. Now, I don't notice the patchouli or the cedar 
but I definitely get that vanilla and I would say that I'm, I'm noticing the sandalwood. So the sandalwood, uh, the orange flower just adds a little bit of creaminess to that vanilla. And so what this reminds me of would be something like a lemon Turkish delight uh, with you know powdered sugar, like that image is what comes to mind when I smell this. Or something like, uh, oh, it's so refreshing. This is refreshing without being crisp, if that makes sense. Um, this reminds me of like a tart lemon custard. Uh, so this one's got some sensuality in it. It's definitely still really refreshing with that citrus. When I put this on for the day, it just feels relaxing. Uh, it, it's just beautiful. It's not overpowering. So for the summer, it's gorgeous. But if you want something that's a little bit warmer, a little bit sweeter, uh, with some creaminess, like this smells clear. So this is like a crisp, clear fragrance. Whereas this one smells uh, creamy, if that makes sense. So this one doesn't smell see-through at all. There's depth to this one. This one you're gonna get about six hours uh, before it starts to kind of melt with your skin and become a skin scent. I think this is beautiful. And, and both of these are affordable. This one to me is a steal for what it is. Uh, definitely gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Now the fruity fragrances that I have for you. Now, uh, I could have thrown one more in. I'm just going to mention So Scandal. It's raspberry, tuberose, and milk. It would be like a thicker version of the Love is Love uh, with no lemon. So you're getting a real major hit of raspberry. So what I've done during the day is I'll mix this. Then I'll throw, like, I'll put this on to begin with. And then kind of mid-afternoon, I'll just douse myself in... Uh, uh, so Scandal, which is the raspberry tuberose, uh, and, and you know, that's just another, like, it, it just kind of melds the two. Uh, so I've done that, but these ones, again, just thinking of a nice, fresh, fruity uh, that's not going to be overpowering. The So Scandal is a little bit heavier, uh, so depending on your weather, it may be a little bit much, but I love that one for summer, too. I'm sorry I'm throwing in another one. I just can't help myself. <laughs> Uh, but I really am loving this green tea nectarine blossom uh, by Elizabeth Arden. I'm planning on getting more of these because I just think they're gorgeous. Um, it just smells fresh and clean. You get that tea aspect in it, but you also get nectarine blossom, nectarine and peach. I just think this one's gorgeous. Um, you know, I, I love uh, like peach iced tea. I love the smell of that. This one is lighter on the tea and the tea is more of a green tea as opposed to like a black tea. Uh, but it's just super refreshing, nice and sweet. And what I love about this one uh, is that you put it on. And again, I use this almost like a glorified body spray, you know, same as this. They, they, you know, if you spray enough, it's going to last a decent amount of time. But what I love about this one is that it's relaxing to me. Uh, as I wear it, um, it really sits nice on the skin. And so if I go to smell my skin, I get this beautiful peach fragrance like it's just kind of it I, I feel like I smell edible like I just think it smells amazing like I really love this one so uh, yeah I've been I've been enjoying this one um, the longevity on it again about three hours but the beauty of something like this uh, is that it's tiny enough you can put it in your purse give yourself a good douse here and there and uh, it's not gonna choke you out so in the summer um, I just think this one's great love it the next fruity one that I have for you is, <laughs> is, okay, so I, I got a story. So I'm like, okay, do you guys want my, <laughs> like, I'm always trying to pronounce the French. And so I'm like, okay, should, do you want me to use the proper, like, Trois Limperatrices? Uh, or three limperatrices, you know, like which sounds more, like it does one sound more lame than the other. And then a couple of my subscribers, uh, you know, graciously told me that this is actually <laughs> Italian. So uh, the Italian, so I, I tried to learn the Italian. So it would be three, I think it would be three limperatrices would be the way you would say it in Italian. Three limperatrices, I think. <laughs> Uh, so I'm just learning them in every language I possibly can. So uh, what does this one smell like? This one is gorgeous. It's super fruity, but kind of watery at the same time. 
I just think this one's gorgeous for summer. You get kiwi and, and rhubarb, kiwi, rhubarb, and pink pepper in the opening. And then in the mid, you get watermelon, cyclamen, and jasmine. And then the base is lemon tree, musk, and sandalwood. <laughs> now, I definitely noticed the watermelon. I noticed the kiwi, the rhubarb, uh, and, and a little bit of floral. Um, and then I noticed the musk. So this one is heavier. Like it's a heavier, stronger fragrance than something like the green tea and peach blossom. Uh, but this one's just really pretty. I like the musk in it. Uh, it smells invigorating. Um, it smells cool because of that watermelon. You know how certain fragrances just make you think of things? So watermelon, I think, you know, watery, cool, refreshing. Uh, and this one's got a little bit of tartness to it. So this one's really nice. The longevity on this one is actually pretty good for me. So where these ones I get about three hours, this one I'm going to get a good five. So this one lasts on my skin pretty good. Uh, and even when I think, oh, I'm not smelling it, all of a sudden I'll get a whiff of it. So this one definitely has better longevity for me at least. I've heard other people say it's not so great. This one just smells like a big bowl of fruit. So you've got your kiwi and your cantaloupe and your watermelon and, you know, just different kind of melony type fruits in a bowl and then, or maybe even an infused water. I think it smells more, um, there's a little more thickness to it uh, than just an infused water, uh, but definitely it has that watery, uh, that watery kind of characteristic from kind of the watermelon kiwi type aspects, that melony type aspect. So this one is just super refreshing and yeah, I highly recommend. So the next uh, two, I'm gonna kind of talk about sunscreeny solar type fragrances now. So the first one that I want to mention is Bobbi Brown Beach. Now this one I think retails at Sephora for like a hundred bucks. I would not spend a hundred bucks on this. So if you have a cosmetic company store, it's usually found in an outlet mall. Uh, it's an Estee Lauder kind of outlet store. So Estee Lauder is a huge umbrella for brown, brands like Bobbi Brown, MAC, Tom Ford, Too Faced, uh, Clinique, um, Michael Kors, DKNY, uh, Stila. There's so many brands that fall under the Estee Lauder brand. So um, I went to the Estee Lauder cosmetic company store and I got this one. It was uh, mark marked for $25, but because I was pairing it with another fragrance, I got this one for 10 bucks, 10 bucks. So if you can get it for like 50 or under, I think it's worth having this one. This one smells like straight up sunscreen to me. Now uh, the actual notes are jasmine, sand, uh, water, uh, seawater, and mandarin. Uh, now I don't get any mandarin out of this. I don't really notice the jasmine, although I guess uh, as it kind of dries down, I see that I, I get the jasmine-y aspect. Yeah, definitely, I, I can get that. But what I really notice is kind of the, that sunscreen vibe that you get. To me, sunscreen, uh, there's something extremely sensual and sexy about a sunscreen smell. So what it reminds me of is you're like pretty hot on the beach your skin is warming up, you've got your oil on or sunscreen, you're in the sand, you're feeling the hot sand but be between your fingers, uh, maybe there's some on your skin and it's almost like it's exfoliating your skin. So there's this therapeutic aspect to like laying in the sand or on the beach. Uh, your skin is heating up, warming up, uh, you're smelling that ocean breeze. Uh, so there's all your senses are kind of involved. And I just, I, I totally, like when I think of sunscreen, it's just, it's just kind of sensual, sexy, warm, uh, relaxing, letting all the cares go away. That's kind of what I think of when I think of sunscreen. So this has this vibe. It's just straight up like pretty linear uh, and the longevity isn't great. So that's why I wouldn't suggest paying more than about 50 bucks uh, for it. But it, it's really, really good. I'm so glad I have it. And then the other one is Comptoir Sud Pacifique uh, Coco Fig. Now this one, uh, it's got coconut, there's fig in it, but it's kind of a greener fig. 
but primarily I get co uh, coconut on this one with a bit of fig. <laughs> now, uh, Comptoir Sud de Pacifique, it has, um, there's like uh, coco vanille, uh, extreme cocoa. I would probably recommend those above this one. Uh, but I just really love using this as a, a layering one. This is kind of like my plus one or my like 10 plus one, this was the plus one. So what I like about fragrances like this, like the coconut one, where it's pretty linear, the sunscreen one, pretty linear, uh, the longevity on them, three-ish hours. If you want kind of that coconut vibe or a, a, a beach vibe, you can like pair this with many different fragrances. Maybe you guys would want like a, a fragrance, summer fragrance pairing video. But, um, you know, getting perfumes that are a little bit linear like this, that you can kind of summer up some of your other perfumes is a great idea as well. So yeah, love both of these. Love this Bobbi Brown. Really love this Coco Fig. Today, I put both of them together. I'm definitely getting more of the, the Coco, uh, the Comptoir uh, one. Definitely noticing it, but then you just kind of add add a little bit more of that beach and you're good to go. So if you want kind of a beachy coconut fragrance, you could actually mix these two together. So anyway, uh, definitely, definitely high, highly recommend this one as long as you can get it for a good deal because uh, it gives you that real good sunscreeny uh, vibe. Now, the next one that also gives me that sunscreen vibe is Tom Ford's Eau de Soleil Blanc. This one takes it up to a whole other level of sophistication though. Uh, this one, mm, it's got a spiciness. I think it's the cardamom, but what it reminds me of is uh, kind of a, um, almost like pine needle smell. So there's a little bit of a foresty type pine freshness to Eau de Soleil Blanc that I just absolutely love. And this one, uh, whereas this one, you're sitting on a beach, uh, you know, just enjoying the sun. Anybody can do that. This one is on a yacht. <laughs> this one is on a yacht and she's sitting in a lounger and, you know, she doesn't walk in bare feet. Like when she wears this, like she's got a white sarong thing on and she's, you know, got these huge like gino sunglasses and, and her nails are done perfectly. She wears high heels, which to me is completely insane, but nevertheless, this chick definitely knows how to rock that big heel. Uh, but she smells absolutely luxurious. Super rich, super luxe. A uh, little bit of that sunscreeny, suntan oil vibe, but then there's also this pine aspect, this freshness that comes from, I think, the cardamom. This one has just an absolute whack of notes. I'm going to read them because it's just kind of crazy. Bitter orange, neroli, citron, bergamot, pistachio, cardamom, pettigrain, pink pepper, caraway. So that's the spiciness that I'm noticing that smells kind of like pine. Like I would sum it up to kind of a pine or a fir, um, just that kind of piney smell somehow, evergreeny. Uh, and then the middle notes are tuberous, Tunisian orange blossom, ylang ylang, jasmine, and galbanum. And the base notes are coconut, vanilla, tonka bean, benzoin, and amber. Now, um, uh, you know, lots of people say they notice the coconut. I don't really notice the coconut in this one. I'm going to spray it on me. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, that felt like a sharp, sharp poker right up the nose. And now I'm fingering you. Okay, this video is getting a little crazy. Okay, so this one... Yeah, it's so rich. It's so luxurious. You still get that sunscreeny vibe, but it's so much more complex than this one. Uh, so this one has uh, all those other notes, which I don't really notice, but it all blends together to just smell luxurious. It smells like a luxurious beach vacation-y type experience. Uh, this one I think is really super duper uber sexy. Um, but it's not overpowering. So this one, again, the longevity isn't great on it. Uh, like I get three, four hours out of this. So like I probably recommend this one before this one because this one's so, so expensive. Although like when you think about it, I got this one for, I think it was 150. 
I think that's what it was. This is a hundred, so retail. Uh, that's what I got these for. So definitely, if if you like are wanting to splurge, go with this one because it just smells rich and luxurious. The longevity on both of these is terrible though. So if you can get this for a steal, I would just go with this. Uh, but the Eau de Soleil Blanc is so sexy. It's so, it smells expensive somehow. Uh, it smells like a rich, rich, rich uh, woman hanging out in the sun. <laughs> yeah, okay, moving on. The next two uh, are again, like they kind of are the, like all these, well, the next four, honestly, are all kind of like summery, beachy, um, either solar or tropical in nature. So the first one is Alien Eau Sublime. Um, this one is one of my favorites. Um, I bought this last year. It's gorgeous. So it's definitely alien. So you for sure get that alien, but it's also coupled with lemon and solar notes. So to me, this one has a little bit of a lemon sunscreen uh, vibe to it. So a little, little hint of warm citrus uh, with a sunscreen and then with the jasmine and whatnot. It's just beautiful. It smells like sun to me, it's like summer sun. So this one, I don't necessarily think beach, uh, although it is kind of a little bit beachy, but I think just, you know, sitting outside, uh, trees blowing, uh, yeah, like just the whole vibe of summer. I love this one. Plus it's pretty sexy too. Like, well, this one's sexy too. Like basically, um, like <laughs> Sheree, she always says like, if it's not sexy, I don't want it. I kind of feel the same way. Like I am just so into the sexy. Uh, I just love sexy. <laughs> Do I love it? Cause I'm not really, I'm not sure. But anyway, I really, really love this fragrance. This one has lemon solar notes, orange and galbanum in the opening. And then uh, the, the mid is jasmine, tear flower, orange blossom, heliotrope and cherry blossom. Now I noticed the jasmine, I don't really, I don't know if I notice any tear flower in there. Uh, and then the base is cashmere, uh, white amber, vanilla and vetiver. So to me, it just smells like a, a sunscreeny alien uh, with a little bit of lemon in there. I don't really notice the orange. I don't notice a ton of tiara flower, uh, whereas another fragrance I have has a lot of it. Uh, but I just love this one. I think it's super sexy. It's uh, beautiful. It's warm. It's sunny. Love it. So my next fragrance for you is Olympia Aqua. Now I know there's been some confusion because people, I think in other countries, the bottle of Olympia Aqua is frosted glass. And I was really confused to begin with as well. Cause I'm like, did I get the wrong bottle? But this is actually Olympia Aqua. Uh, I don't know why, but the Canadian bottles look like this. So I, unless I'm really mistaken, but uh, I know in other countries that the Olympia Aqua bottle is frosted glass, uh, but this is definitely the Aqua. So anyway, uh, this one actually reminds me a lot of the Alien Eau Sublime somehow, uh, except this one is lemon, lemony kind of sunscreen in the top. This one would be more orange. Like I definitely get that citrus hit but this one has more orange in it. So the opening of this fragrance is water notes, bergamot, orange, pedigree, and grapefruit. Uh, and then the mid has ginger flower, jasmine, orange blossom, peach, and rose. Then the base of this has salt, vanilla, ambergris, cashmere wood, sandalwood, and benzoin. So what I noticed with this one, it has a similar vibe to the Alien Eau Sublime, uh, but this one's sweeter. Uh, this one, definitely I smell the orange more. Uh, I do notice just a hint of peach, but not really. Like I, like I, it, I wouldn't have known that there was peach in it. So it's not like a real prominent note, uh, but there is this sweetness to it. It's definitely sweeter than Alien Eau Sublime. Uh, it's got the ginger, which definitely comes out. So it's kind of orange ginger. Uh, I noticed the jasmine uh, more than any of the other floral notes. 
uh, and then of course the vanilla and the salt. So this is kind of a fresher version of Olympia. Uh, definitely get that salt, definitely get the vanilla, uh, but I love the fact that there's uh, the, the ginger and the orange uh, to kind of brighten it up a little bit so it's not as heavy. I love this one. Like, I just think it's gorgeous. So if you find Olympia too uh, heavy, try this one. Or even if you love Olympia and you want something just a little bit brighter for summer, the Olympia Aqua is absolutely gorgeous. Plus you get that salt in there. So it's again got that like kind of oceanic uh, quality to it that just makes it kind of sensual and sexy and just love it for summer. Oh yeah, love it for summer. Okay, so the last two fragrances that I have for you are more like the tropical warm vacation where, you know, ones like this are more beachy. They can still be tropical, but you know, they're the, the sunscreen vibe. These are more the tropical floral vibe. So the first one that I have for you is Terracotta Le Parfum uh, by Guerlain. Now this one, this one is just gorgeous. Now in the opening, you get Thierry flower, coconut, and bergamot. And I definitely noticed the sweetness of the coconut. I noticed the bergamot uh, in the opening. And then as this dries down, you get jasmine, ylang ylang, and orange blossom. And, as, and then in the, the base, you get vanilla and musk. So this one, I definitely noticed the Thierry flower more as it dries down. Uh, coupled with the ylang ylang, so it's definitely that tropical floral. Um, the coconut kind of takes a second uh, stage to the florals, but I definitely get just that vibe, kind of that luxurious, uh, like I think resort, I think uh, luxury, um, it smells luxe, it definitely does. Now this one, uh, because it's more floral, uh, you know, it may not be for everyone. It reminds me, it's kind of in the same vibe as Bronze Goddess, but I find that this one is just a little bit more complex, a little bit sexier, a little bit uh, more luxurious, sophisticated. So Bronze Goddess is gorgeous too, uh, but I prefer this one. Uh, I just think that the florals are actually a, a nicer blend. Uh, now this one, the interesting thing about this one is that as it dries down on the skin, what I notice is kind of a, a buttery quality uh, to the florals. I'm just loving smelling this. Mm. So a, a, a kind of a buttery quality on the skin as it heats up. I don't know if it's the tropical florals or what, but it smells a little bit buttery or warm oil, but not like, but more of a floral oil, like a, a Nukes uh, Prodigio uh, oil smell. So there's a bit of an oiliness to it, uh, but I don't find it off-putting. I just think this one's gorgeous. Definitely, definitely rich smelling. So if you want to smell like a rich, sophisticated tropical beach babe, <laughs> I don't know. Like this one is just really pretty. It smells like you've been rubbing yourself in like some sort of like nut oil. Like it's a little bit nutty somehow this one. I guess that's what I mean by buttery. There's no nuts in it, but I think the the warm kind of tropical florals mixing with this somehow gives me kind of that uh, almost like Moroccan oil fragrance. So more of an oil, uh, I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I get out of that one. Last one, but not least, you guys know I love this one. It, it, it is Prada La Femme. Now this one, definitely two rows heavy. You know, this is honestly one of my favorite fragrances. I know some people find this is just kind of like a meh fragrance. I just think it's just gorgeous, especially in the summer. So this just smells, it smells luxurious. Like, oh, it, it smells... Uh, rich, it smells luxurious. Um, I've said that it smells like Miranda Priestly, but this chick is the same chick that wears, okay, the, the same chick, okay, she wears this, I guess she's not a chick, she's a formidable woman, but she wears this when she goes yachting, and she smells fantastic, and then she comes home, and she wants to rest for a while, 
uh, before going out on the town, being picked up in her limousine. So she puts this on and she smells like warm tuberose with some Moroccan spices somehow that kind of dry down on the skin to smell all sweet and sexy. Um, I just, I love that one. So this one in the opening, it has magnolia, bergamot, and carrot seeds. So I don't know really what carrot seeds smell like, but just kind of that, uh, like there's a sweetness to it, kind of an earthy sweetness to it. Uh, and then in the middle you have frangipani, tuberose, ylang ylang, iris, and spices. So definitely I get the yellow florals, I get that tuberose nice and heavy. Uh, the magnolia kind of adds this waxy quality, but then in the base you have beeswax, vetiver, and vanilla. So it kind of warms up with this little bit of spicy, so it kind of starts off really, really floral but then it kind of mixes with this spice, a little bit of waxiness uh, grounded with that vetiver spice as well. And I just think this one's super gorgeous and, and, and sexy as well. So I love it. I think it smells really rich. And for the price, I think this smells way more luxe uh, than what you're paying for. So um, yeah, gorgeous. And the bottle is gorgeous. I just love this one. And this one, I wore this one last year. We went to Kelowna and in BC, Kelowna, uh, Kelowna, BC, it's kind of like California. So it's like warm, arid, uh, like super hot there, but then there's lots of vineyards around there. It looks like arid, uh, kind of almost Mediterranean-y uh, as far as the hills and stuff are concerned. And we would ride around in the car with windows open, listening to music. My son would have his weird wrap on. <laughs> so not really luxuriously seeming, but this smell, just, I, you know, the warmth of the air and just that relaxing aspect is what this reminds me of, and I love it. And I really love summer, you know, summer, the other thing that you can do with your, your perfume bottles is use it to cool you down because it definitely does for a couple seconds anyway, then you've got to move to another bottle. But anyway, that is it. Those are my fragrances. What are your favorite fragrances? Have you tried any of these? Uh, and what do you think? If I had to go down to a top five out of these two, I would pick this one. Oh, this one's awfully good too. If I had to pick between these two, um, they're both fantastic. You can't really go wrong. Uh, with either one. This one's more lemony, this one's more orange. Um, if I had to choose between these two, I would pick this one just because it smells a little more luxurious, but this is great for price. Uh, as far as my fruities are concerned, I would definitely choose, I think this peach one, because I really love the smell of that peach, even though it's not as long lasting. And then as far as my citruses are concerned, I would go with this one, because I just think this one's gorgeous. This one's great for hot days though. So that is my summer lineup. Hope that you enjoyed. Tell me what you think. What are your favorite summer fragrances? Are there ones that I need to add to my collection? I would love to know. And beyond that, have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.